There's a game that I'm willing to bet you've all played as a kid. Monopoly. Remember what Monopoly was all about? Roll the dice and pay the price. It was about making the most profit out of property you happen to land on. A game entirely based on greed. Can you imagine real life Monopoly? Here's a hint. It's worthless. What are you going to do with one station? I don't know. I'd... I've always been rubbish with money. They're my stations! I own three! I'm always the stations guy! I'm always the stations guy! Well, I mean, you really do see people's true colours when money's involved. Now, sadly, that's not far from reality. Small businesses are constantly bought by bigger ones, which end up charging people more. Many companies thrive on the cultivation of greed, and not surprisingly so, because the greedier we are, the more we will consume and the longer we will have to work for it. But many ideologies consider greed a very destructive force. Here's what the Prophet of Islam has said about it. So this is a hadith the Prophet said, Beware of injustice, for injustice will result in darkness upon darkness upon darkness on the Day of Judgment. One of the first hadiths we covered. But then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and beware of ash-shuh, beware of greed. He said, for greed is what destroyed those who came before you. So it's really interesting. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam pinpointed this as the reason that nations were destroyed. And he continued, he said, it drove them to spill each other's blood. So greed led to murder. And he said, greed led to people violating one another's sanctities. Well, we believe there are ways out of this problem. One is a change in our philosophy of life. You see, the reason we become greedy is that we want to be certain that we will have enough. So we put our entire trust for future in things that inherently can't be trusted. And this misplaced trust causes a lot of anxiety. But Abrahamic religions like Islam instruct us to not put our trust in anyone or anything but God, the everlasting owner of everything. And due to his mercy on us, so long as we work hard and trust him, our provisions will suffice. There are also Islamic practices that battle greed. For instance, we have different types of taxes that are for anyone who has an excess of wealth. Islamically speaking, the money we earn is not lawful until we give a set amount up for charity. Plus, there is an Islamic tax for anything we choose to keep. Knowing that, you will give up a percentage of your hard-earned excess in income and savings helps reduce the focus on money. Make sure that you have a consistent charity that's coming out of your income, no matter how small it is, every single day of your life, because charity is due upon you every day, and at the same time, when anything good happens to you or any increase comes in your life, make sure you have a set portion to give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that will keep you removed from greed even as you move forward and as you grow into your careers and as you become more successful in the night ta'ala, and we ask Allah to grant us success. Another practice that helps curb our greed is the remembrance of death. We know that all material belongings will stay in this world after we depart. Remembering we'll leave this world with empty hands can really help put things in perspective. That's why Muslims are encouraged to visit graveyards often, not only to pray for the dead, but also to remember that this life and everything in it is temporary. Except, of course, our deeds. Which brings me to another point, that is, there is a place for greed, and that's in doing good. Our insatiable desire for more can only make sense when we direct it towards non-material earnings. In fact, here's how the Holy Quran portrays the faithful in chapter 23rd, verse 6, to be quite competitive. It is those who hasten to good deeds, and they outstrip others therein. So, aside from the greed to do more good, greed can be a destructive force and that's why we keep it in check by putting out trust in God, donating a set amount of our excess to charitable causes and remembering that life is short and the only currency that can help us in long term is our good deeds. What ways do you have to keep your greed in check? Share with us in the comments. Till next time, take care.